Guess my weight. Guess my weight. Um, I guess we're out here guessing people's weights now. Is that what we're doing now? Let's 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 watch. You've got it's large okay. breasts. Yes, I do. I know that they probably carry some weight. They do. You have back problems. I do. Very bad. <laughs> back problems. <laughs> My name is Faith. Deontay or DJ? I'm Jasmine, and I'm here to guess the weight of mm -hmm. some folks. How does that make you feel, guessing other people's weight? Um, women, not so well. Men, I could care less, because they're men. They have no feelings. <laughs> That's all, no emotion. <laughs> That's it. How is your relationship to your body? I've always thought that I've had a really great one. Damn. Adam, you got some long ass legs or them jeans is how to fuck up. And then like I started to gain a little bit of weight and I realized that like I was being very critical to myself. I'm working on actually learning to love myself rather than that false sense of like self-love. You opened it. Oh, well. Chat, today we're reacting to a video called Guess My Weight. There we go. Um, it's a lot better than what it used to be because I just lost 200 pounds. Now I feel a lot more comfortable in my body and I'm... Just happy where I'm at. So these are the weights. Okay. We're trying to assign people. Thank today. you. We've got some all over the place. I think we've got an interesting mix of like heights and things here. That's what you're <laughs> assuming from looking at these numbers. Just from looking at these numbers, yes. It's interesting because it's how you carry it. Some people have said that I look smaller than I weigh, but it's how I carry myself. Are you ready for me to ring in the line? Let's do it. Good. How are you? Going? How are you feeling? It's different now that everyone's right here. <laughs> Would you come up? Yes. What's your name? Daisy. Daisy, that's a great name. Thank you. I'm gonna say, like, I keep looking at your boobs, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, like, I think, uh, never mind. Weight can be held in, like, your boobs mm -hmm. and your butt and stuff. What is your bra size? What's your cup size? I think I'm a 36C. C? Okay, 34C. Same. Okay. Something like okay. that. Okay. What do you do? In your day to day, go to the gym with my roommate in the morning. Okay. Make myself some good lunch, you know. What did you eat today? Ooh, I've been eating the snacks over here. <laughs> I think I ate like four of them. <laughs> I'm, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go with like my safe bet here and give you the 167. 167. 167. That's gonna be my safe bet because my mom always told me never to ask a woman her weight. So we're gonna <laughs> she's right. We're gonna roll with that today. All right. Thank you. Nice no to meet you. Hello. Hi. I call you guys that like are built like you. I say like hefty or like thick. Okay. I like hefty and thick guys. Like it's something that is visually to me pl pleasing and appealing. What's your favorite outfit? I, I like flannels. Ooh, um, it kind of okay. hides a lot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just my go to I don't know if it's me or if I'm just tripping, but the audios don't look right. Sorry, right, continue on. Okay, okay. So you said you like to cover yourself up. Is that something you've always done? When I can, I yeah. probably would. If I'm in a store and I'm walking like by a mirror, I'm just kind of like, well, I don't want to look over there. Mm. You know, I just kind of try to focus on everything else around me rather than myself. What did you have for breakfast today? A few sips of water, but I've been having some snacks too. I had some what, are the, what are the snacks back there? Because I'm hearing a lot about really the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you 245. 275. I'm gonna go with 245. Uh, why'd you give me 245? Um, just because of your height and weight is distributed, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey friend, come on forward. So do you do any like physical activity or sports? Do you, do you like to stay fit? I know what we uh, are all thinking here based on looking at this man, <laughs> right? <laughs> Say it with me now. <clears throat> Gay. Fit? Do you eat relatively <laughs> healthy? Absolutely not. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Are you happy with your current weight? Not really. What would you change if you could? Uh, just be thinner. I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that like my body will never be how it was. How how is yeah. your relationship with your body? I was kind of like closed off by my body and uh -huh. a little, like, there was some shame and stuff, for sure. For sure. Grew up in a very fat-phobic household. And then kind of just, like, realizing that my body is 
that's the one I got. The other people sure seem to like it, so that's I should great. probably get on board. So did you find that you were feeling better about yourself from other people's <clears throat> yeah. validation? Okay. Yeah. It was one of those things where like, if enough people tell me something and I just keep denying them, mm -hmm. I'm basically just telling that many people that they're all liars. Mm. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to give you the, the 315. 315. I'm gonna say 315. You're a tall person, and sometimes being taller, there's there's more weight there. True. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name's Kira. I know I was talking about boobs earlier and weight and things like that. You've got <laughs> large okay. breasts. Yes, I do. I know that they probably carry some weight. They do. You have back problems. I do. Very bad back problems. <laughs> what did you eat today? This morning, my breakfast was a Red Bull. That's hardcore. Oh, I drink Red Bulls almost every day. <gasps> And then snacks. <laughs> <laughs> what snacks? I want to know what snacks. Well, I started out. What did I start out with? Corn nuts. I think it was corn nuts. Yeah, I had the, I had the corn nuts. <laughs> do you like to show skin? Um, I do. Yeah. Does that go into how you feel about your body? I love my body, so why wouldn't I want to show it off? I think I'm trying to rule out if you. Chat. Do y'all love y'all bodies? Feel. Do y'all love how much y'all weigh? how tall y'all are, et cetera. Bad about your body based on the number. To me, the number doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just me. Why do you think you can't ask a woman their weight? Because my mom said it was rude. I Why wish I was taller. I agree with you. I agree with you. I sent, I, I literally sent, the. I sent Aura, Farai, Vi, and Nerd my height in the FTV chat. And they were all like, damn! So. Yeah, I kind of wish I was a little bit taller. <laughs> Don't ever tell your friends your height. Mom said that. I have no idea, but what she says goes. What about men? Men have no emotions or feelings, and <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll with 275. 275. 245. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And last but not least. Hello. So what did you eat today? They had nuts. <laughs> I ate some nuts. Can I get a bag of these nuts? <laughs> like, I feel like everybody's just talking about some nuts. Do you like to do anything pretty like active? Um, I like to go for like a walk around my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, I like to go to like metal concerts. So I don't go super hard. Yeah. Like I'm not like slam dancing in the pit or nothing. But What's slam dancing? I've seen people like- It's just like- Punching and- Thrashing your- Yeah, just going yeah. crazy. <laughs> Does your weight mean something to you? Previously in life it has meant a lot. Yeah. Negatively. Lately, more positively. I care more about just being healthy versus like a number on a scale. Yes. Do you find yourself carrying either consciously or unconsciously any kind of like bias toward people who are currently fat? Not necessarily. A, I would never judge somebody mm -hmm. uh, based on anything because it's a struggle. Like I was there, I know what it mm -hmm. feels like. So men do have feelings. You said earlier men don't have feelings, but it seems like they do. Do they? You've shown feelings this whole time. Yeah. Have I? In a good yes. way, yeah. I think that's just transparency. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Are those feelings? Are transparency, <laughs> I feel like that's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> that's questionable. See, the reason I challenge your, your men have no feelings thing is because I'm a trans man. So mm -hmm. I've lived as a fat woman and a fat man. So I kind of see, at least in the realm of being a fat person, mm -hmm. like I do think that men You are fat. You know what? struggle just as much as women do, just in a different way. You're right about that. And any of any gender, a fat person is going to struggle with the same internalized fat phobia that yeah. our society has, so. Um, well, this is the only number I have left, so we gotta <laughs> get that one. Thank you. No <laughs> <laughs> nice you. Same here. I'm gonna let you take a look, and if you wanna switch one, you can do that, and then I want you to put them in order. I feel like these two need to switch. You drop over, you switch, you switch. Okay, raise your hand if Faith got you right. I'm gonna hear all the hands. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay. Damn, one out of five. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> no. Switch your weights, please, and then go ahead and get in the right order. That's why we don't guess weights. <laughs> <laughs> I had, okay. I should have just like switched people. Oh. One out of five. 
<laughs> hey, look at that. I'll take that. So you're the only one that I got yeah. right. <laughs> How was your relationship with your body and your weight? So about a year ago, I started my fitness journey. I was going through a lot of mental stuff. And so I went to working out as a coping mechanism. Okay. It was healthy at first, uh -huh. but then it became a little toxic because I would stop myself from going out with friends because uh -huh. I didn't want to eat too much. Ever since then, I still work out like four times a week, but I let myself eat what I need to eat. So I have a really good relationship now. Good. I need to get back in the gym. Came back in your Twitch on a different stream. No Twitch. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> All right, come here. Talk to me, miss. So you got me wrong. Why did you put me at 275? I don't have very large breasts, so I don't think I really know, like, actually kind of how much weight that Girl, you know you just wanted to say, bitch, you fat. <laughs> I mean, it does, but... <laughs> is there anything that contributes to your weight? So I was on birth control for about mm -hmm. seven years. I actually got off because of COVID because I couldn't get my next one. Mm -hmm. This started my journey with my weight, and I had gained weight so, so fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but birth control weight is so hard to lose. Like, yeah. it's almost impossible to lose. Do you find it frustrating that people don't consider all of the ways that weight can fluctuate? Usually people associate it with like food. It was solely hormonal. I have learned to just love my body because I only have one life and one body and so. Hell yeah. Yeah. I support that. Get on up here. All right, so you got me wrong, but you were close. I got you wrong, <laughs> but I was close. Okay. So how do you feel about 275? Um, it's right. <laughs> it's right, you're right. That's my weight. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. were saying earlier that you feel healthy. My weight goes straight to my ass and thighs, period. I mean, I, okay, never mind. When you feel healthy mentally or you just feel good like, in yes. your skin. Yes, and, and that's something that I've had to like kind of coach myself into believing. Absolutely. Um, it's like, have you always been a little bit heavy? Yeah, or? so I have um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which mm. just like in short, it has made it really hard to lose weight my entire life, which like I'm, I'm cool with it now. But as a kid, I heard a lot of like, like I would get told I was so fat, I was going to get diabetes and my like toes would get cut off. Like and my, that has nothing to my do mom with that. would tell me like, things like that. <laughs> I've been on every diet imaginable, yeah. like restricting food, exercise. I'm just always going to be a big person. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah, for that. Thank you. Hello. Hello. 296. Got yeah. that wrong too. I just you really. Got me wrong. I did. I mean, but you know, I wasn't too far no, off. I just no. assumed because you were the tallest, yeah. I figured there was going to be more mass there, more weight there. <laughs> well, have you fluctuated like with your weight? Is that something that you've struggled with? Or like, how do um, you. I got a little ways over 300 um, during COVID, you know, yeah. because I was just sitting at home all day. <laughs> have you ever tried to hide your weight? I think ever since like. I got older and my weight became something that I was aware of. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but I think like probably the baggiest clothes I ever wore was when I was skinny. I don't know, I always look at people that have suspenders on who have a belly and I'm like, that looks good. That looks awesome. Yeah, and That's so I kind of was just like, it highlights it in a way that makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, I never thought of suspenders that way. Yeah. So well, thank you, Matthew. Yes, thank you. Yeah. All right, Fernando. Mm -hmm. You still, to me, don't look 315 pounds. I think a lot of it's in my ass for me not. Is it? You have a big, you have a big butt? So. You got a big butt? Can I see yeah. it? Is it weird? Oh, you do! <laughs> uh, and they zoomed in on his ass. Hey, uh, cut. Do we need to see his ass? He just like me for okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm blessed. <laughs> oh, really? How do you feel about your butt? Are you we did, we did not. You like happy about We just like God didn't, we didn't. I'm not the happiest with it. Be trying some pants on and they don't fit and my thighs and my butt just won't make it in, so. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I've never had that problem. Is that one of your biggest insecurities? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm who I am, so I'm not going to, yeah. you know, beat myself up too much over it. My girlfriend likes my butt a lot. Nice. So, yeah. I was going to say, she's a butt girl, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourself happy these days? It's just a number, so it's not too bad. You know, I find myself attractive and everything, so. So what do you see next for your body? My goal weight would probably be like 240. Okay. So I, I just want to find like a healthy lifestyle. I want to be able to go to the gym and 
kind of feel good about myself every day. The biggest piece of advice that I can give anyone is to find their why. Your why is gonna be your reasoning for losing, and as long as you stick with that, then that'll kind of be the motivation that you need. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, how was that? That was great, I'm feeling emotional. I don't want people to think of a number and not think that they're beautiful or worthy of love, of friendship, of support, because they weigh more or less than they think they should. If you feel good in your everyday and you're happy, or you're sad and you're aware that you can do things to make you feel better, you're in a healthy spot. And that can change every day. Oh, all right. Um. <sighs> okay, we learned about who's fat and who's not fat. <laughs> if that's even a fat. Okay, anyway, moving on.